The fact is, jurors sometimes ask questions. Sometimes jurors get it right. Sometimes they get it wrong. This is a system based on human beings, and human beings are fallible. But the alternative is more frightening. The alternative is no jury. The alternative is not being tried by our peers and by a judge. And the other thing is this. I bet 98% of trials don't have juries in them anyway, so it's not a, a major upheaval as far as the court system's concerned. It's a good system. It works. It's fallible. Gets things wrong. But so the alternative is frightening. So the fact that this is unusual and we're reporting on it and we're paying attention to it, that points up. It, 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 point, it points up that it's news. We can all talk, for instance, about uh, anecdotes we've had in the past. We can all talk about, for instance, uh, stories we've heard, uh, like the jury some years ago that consulted a Ouija board. A Ouija board. Uh, to consult with the, the, the dead defendant in a murder trial. Right. Uh, I, I had a question in one of my uh, cases where the jury said, uh, uh, do we uh, convict on the evidence or can it be gut instinct? We all have the odd blips, as far as jurors are concerned, but they're human beings. Fundamentally, they get it right, but most importantly, they're our peers judging us. And you appeared in a, a case which is very unusual, I think for the first time in about 300 years, was held in England, heard in England without a jury. Did that change the whole nature of the trial? Did it feel very odd to you? It was um, a very strange experience as somebody who is used to juries. Um, we suddenly had a Crown Court judge who was also the jury in the case. So we had to work out our own procedure. Everything was different. When points of law are argued, um, a jury goes out. Um, this time you obviously had the judge being the judge, taking off, taking off his jury hat. So it was, it was very different. But what things I did notice were... For example, because the judge also had to give his judgment, he was taking a very close note of the evidence. So therefore, he couldn't always watch the witness the way that a jury sitting across is able to do. So those sort of differences really struck me. And it really confirmed in my, in my head, I'm really a you, big fan of jury. You're a big fan of jury system, but you both are uh, in, in different ways with those uh, oh, yeah. criticism. But I just wondered whether you felt, um, you know, perhaps a layperson would think, look, a jury is likely to be the softer option. It's more likely, I'm more likely to get off in front of the jury than I am with a judge because he will or she will have heard it all before. Well, I, I'm sure people do think that. And in fact, um, some defendants will deliberately elect for a jury because they know that they, statistically, they have a, a greater chance of acquittal before a jury than they do before a magistrate. I mean, those are the facts. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think, I think the sort of bigger picture of a jury being a, a barometer of society as well, in that um, they may consider, for example, that this is a prosecution that really should not be brought. They do not like it. And although they may feel... Perhaps the evidence is sufficient here for guilty. This is not a case we want to convict on. So that's justice rather than perhaps that's the strict sort of jury, interpretation of the yes, law. Yes, a jury sense of uh, justice, which is quite interesting. I, 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 I was just going to add to this. Uh, and if jurors are not understanding a case, it's not the juror's fault. It's the profession's fault, it's the system's fault for not enabling it to be explained to them. I find, I'm personally about the same view. Though, because, uh, because, you know, uh, we're all lay people with... Mm on juries, we've all got other jobs, other interests, we don't spend our time in court. So how do you change it to make sure that the juries, uh, since they're just like the rest of mankind, how they really know what they're up to? Well, a lot of criminal cases are all about uh, 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 human life, uh, which is exactly what a jury's calibrated to judge. They're human beings with experience of life, as it's often referred to by judges. If there are technicalities in a case, whether it be medical technicality, uh, financial technicality, my experience is that you can boil that down into propositions and presentations which a jury can understand. Even a, even a very complex fraud case, well, which is one of those areas which sometimes people say juries don't get the expert evidence well, here. Well, Kirsty, I've done a number of complex fraud cases and presented the case to a jury. And the jury have come back with some very rational and, and important questions. We have computerization now. We have what we call paperless trials. It's getting less and less complicated, and the profession are getting more and more used to clear presentation. My view is this. If the jury don't understand a point, let's not blame the jury, let's blame us, and let's blame perhaps uh, the, the judges.